and we're here in the Silicon Valley and hi, so who are you? Hi, uh, I'm Ness, uh, I'm the CEO here at Shadow and uh, welcome to our office. So that's cool, this is the office you have here in uh, Mountain View, uh, which yes, is the exactly. Silicon Valley. Uh, yeah, exactly, we're in Mountain View, uh, California, uh, a few uh, miles away from uh, uh, all the large like uh, internet companies you all know about. Is Google just down there, right? Yeah, it's just down there, exactly. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> and uh, lots of others. Exactly, everybody's uh, here. Maybe uh, Facebook there and the Apple there or something like that. Facebook there, Apple there, uh, yeah. Everybody? Everybody's here. Okay, so let's go in and check out the Shadow USA. Come in. All right. Cool. That's uh, some sofas. And here's a bunch of bunch of guys and girls. So, um, what's the status here in the USA? So here uh, in the USA, uh, in the in the US office, there's about uh, 40 of us. Uh, here you have the marketing team, which is uh, sitting on those desks. Uh, you have um, over there in the small room. You have our testing room. That's where we like we, we run quality assurance and uh, make sure that everything works fine for our uh, for our US users. Uh, on this side here, you're going to have all the um, uh, customer success people, so making sure that everything works fine for, for the users. So here's a Friday afternoon, not everybody's here, right? Uh, yeah, exactly, everybody's here. No, no uh, Friday there. afternoon is kind of a light day for us sometimes. Uh, yeah, people working from home, uh, and so uh, there are less people right now in here. Uh, a bit further, you have uh, operations, and uh, well, you have HR, you have operations, and you have infrastructure in the back. Infrastructure are the team that takes care of our data centers. So, um, without having, without mentioning uh, specific names of the competitors, but all the big guys, everybody is trying to do cloud gaming right now, and but you actually doing it? Yeah. So, I mean, uh, when we started uh, a few years ago, like. Nobody believed in cloud gaming, and it was like an uphill battle for us all the time to convince people that cloud gaming was possible. Um, now uh, everybody has now everybody like knows that this is the future of gaming, and uh, indeed we have a product, and we believe it's uh, extremely strong. And yeah, we're let's just go in this room over here for a second. Um, you have like a demo room where we can check the ghosts. Yeah, for, for a sure. Second. So. Um, I've been uh, I've been tr I've been using Shadow for a year and I've, I'm really impressed with the how well it works. It really works. Yeah. So if you can see this. Oh, sorry. For sure. So here you have a ghost, which is an arm powered little uh, a thin client basically, and you're yes. connecting to a giant computer performance. Right? Exactly. Basically, your computer is in the data center, and so you you have like the full power of a, of a, of of a high end yeah. gaming PC, uh, which is basically fits in here. So, so actually, the PC is not here. So. So when you move the mouse, it's just like it's right here. Exactly. So I don't know, like you have zero latency, like you can uh, you can go around, and like you can see, like when I, when I move like that, it just happens immediately. You don't feel anything, and whenever you, whenever we see someone like try shadows, they after just a few seconds, they forget this is cloud gaming. They just enjoy the game, and that's it. And that's really like the key for us is for people not realizing their own channel. And here you have a couple USB hosts, four USB hosts, and an HDMI that goes out, it's gigabit Ethernet. This little thing uses very little power. Yeah, it's also Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, it uses seven watts of power compared to like the 400 watts of a regular gaming PC. So you're always, you're also like, not having too much noise, not having too much heat, and saving on your electricity bill. And uh, you can run it on any computer, cheap computer. You can run it like a Windows client, it just works. You can yep. run it on, on a bunch of phones, on tablets, on, on the smart TVs. Exactly, yes. Yeah. This it is works, so cool. It works on any device. And uh, th this is a little bit thanks to oh, the timing also, right? Is it, yeah. It's got to do with the timing of the, 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 like the internet now has low enough latency. It's thanks to Amazon and Google and everybody, Facebook. They invested a lot in speeding the internet up, right? All uh, over the world. I mean, yeah, for sure. I mean, like, this is, this is, um, cloud gaming has been an idea that has been uh, going on for a while. And the, the good thing for us is that we are exactly at the right moment to, uh, to be able to enjoy um, like great quality uh, internet networks. And so... Like our, 10 years ago, maybe there was a little bit too much ago, lag? It was like, 10 years ago, it was not really possible. Like in terms of bandwidth, as much as in terms of latency, it was much harder to, to be able to, to do anything. So it's not so much, it's not only the bandwidth. Bandwidth, of course, is improving, but especially the latency, right? Because I, I guess... I guess the companies like Google, 
they don't want people to wait when they search. It has to happen fast. So they really optimize everything. And, and you are basically taking advantage of a better network. Um, so well, it's true, but to be honest, like um, up to, um, I mean, like cloud gaming is really the first, um, is, is really one of the first technologies that is so latency sensitive. Uh, when you, when you, see, so latency sensitive. So, so where latency is so important to the experience, yeah. right? When you, when you're watching Netflix, for example, the way it works is that Netflix is actually going to buffer uh, the movie that you're watching because it actually yeah. knows what, what, what happens next in the movie. When we are, uh, yeah. when we are streaming to you, we don't know what happens next. We don't know where you move, where you shoot next, and so that's that's the, that's the difficulty for us. But it is uh, important, for example, when you search. You wanted the result to come quickly. Yeah. So that kind of work they've done there, uh, you've able to, you, you really Th tapping into true. it. Th that's also true. So that's they have optimized, true. but yeah. you, you, what, what is, the, the other cool thing that I heard that you're doing is that you work with all the ISPs and you try to get, make sure that they have as few hops as possible to your data center. So indeed, so like the, the whole key thing here for us is to be able to, uh, to, 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 to control the experience from the beginning to the end from uh, where the, 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 the image is generated, from where the, the computer is actually running, to where you are uh, using Shadow. And so that means we have to, to, to be really good at making data centers, at connecting data centers to the internet, and making sure that the, the image is going to travel correctly to, uh, to, your, uh, to your local device, and so that you have the best streaming quality and the best latency possible. And so indeed, we optimize like every step, so that's uh, optimizing the way we connect with ISPs, that's optimizing the way we capture the frame, that's optimizing the way uh, it's decoded on, on your hardware in the end. Like every step of the way needs to be optimized, and that's really the secret sauce if you want to what you're doing, is to be able to do everything right. So uh, my understanding, Shadow is an awesome French Still a startup or not really? I mean, start, uh, starting growing up like crazy. Well, Maybe, there's, there's 200 of us now. Uh, I don't know if we're still qualified as a startup or if we're, we're, something, we're something different. There's 200 people, uh, about 40 here and about 160 uh, in France. Um, we, we're more and more uh, 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 an American and French company. We're, we're kind of uh, both now. Uh, but the American market is, a, if you can catch it, it's, which is not easy for European companies, right? Yeah. In, in general, very few have been able to figure it out, like Spotify or something. And uh, it, it, so well, hopefully it's going great. How is it going? Can we, can we walk around a bit? Yeah, sure. So you, you, have, um, uh, ooh, you, have, um, you have employees just um, playing games the whole day? Yeah, I'm joking. yeah that's, that's yeah. what we do. Well, it's Friday, right, again? Yeah. So yeah, people aren't doing anything. Do you want to introduce <laughs> some of the guys here? Game testing. For sure. Game so testing. testing. This is Claire. Uh, Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hey. It's Claire, our community manager here for the US. And this is uh, Vincent, who uh, manages retention here in the marketing team. How's hey, it? you see how he's re retaining uh, yeah. and, uh, our users here. Yeah. Making sure everything works right so people are happy. So are, are you able to, to, to win all the tournaments? Maybe not win, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> I try. We, we have to keep him out of the Overwatch League. We, you know, we felt it would be unfair for him to compete there uh, with so many other, you know, willing competitors. What is this talent. game there, Overwatch? Yeah. yeah, I'm playing Overwatch right now. Overwatch exactly. is one of the top, uh, most popular things right now. Or what? It's pretty yeah. up there. It's popular in the office for sure. We have a big <laughs> team of people that play it here. So, um, and this is playing on Shadow right now too. So what, what do you do, other I than manage. play games? <laughs> Good question. I manage. <laughs> like the game, like he doesn't oh, no. really care. I can't stop. No, no, that's okay. You can answer while you play, right? Yeah, definitely. So, I manage retention and engagement, so my job is I want to teach people how to use Shadow, how to use all the functions, and really make it easier for people to play games on Shadow. Uh, so um, what I'm... What I heard is that you have a pretty good, uh, what do you call it, churn, or like uh, people in, also in the U.S. are very happy with the service. Yes. In general. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of good feedback on the service. I mean, for me especially, I even have a really good gaming laptop, but I can't play max settings on Overwatch on my laptop. You also balancing at the same time on one foot on a, exactly. on a, on a thing. Okay, Just to make it. You know, if, if I Just play to add without, some challenge, right? Yeah, if I play yeah. without it, it's not fair to yeah. the other guys. So it's a very good test. Know. It's a very good test. It's going on. So um, I guess some uh, not you can't guarantee everybody in the U.S. has perfect bandwidth, right? But hopefully, mm -hmm. there's uh, how do you say more and more ISPs that are hooked into your data center mm -hmm. in a nice way. 
And you, you have more data centers? You, you don't only have California, right? No, so, uh, so indeed. So we, what we ask from our users is to have a minimum of 15 megabit per second as, a, as an internet connection. Uh, and we, have, uh, we, we, currently cover, uh, we currently have four data centers in the US that cover about 80% of the population. Um, and so we have, we have one here in Santa Clara, which was our first one. We have one uh, in New York, one in Dallas, and one in Chicago. Uh, and so that's how we, we cover most of the US. 80, uh, that's pretty much. That's a lot. Uh, 80%, yeah, that's a lot. Uh, we're still missing some key, uh, some key states. It's just the last 50 uh, million people. Yeah, who but, cares? Uh, but uh, no, you have yeah. 200 something million maybe who can potentially sign up. But I mean, I'm just mm -hmm. saying, like, in terms of if you say 80% of the US population. Yeah. Um, are, well, not everybody games, but yeah. Uh, uh, so are you able to s provide it to everybody who orders? Uh, so the, the way we work is that we, we really try, because we are developing our own data centers, it's something which is, uh, which, which, it's something which is complicated, which is costly. And so the way we manage it is that we try to uh, match our data center growth with our user base growth. And so we really try to, to keep those two uh, in sync and to make sure we, we always have like, uh, uh, the, the infrastructure we need for, for our users. Nice. Um, it, it's, it, it's, I think it's really awesome, not just for gaming, right? Uh, I use it for video editing. I do all my 4K video thing on Shadow for yeah, last year. Good. Uh, I could potentially do it on Chromebook, but it is, it is a question of the Android app, uh, client support, everything. Of course, you have support on Android, but things are improving, right? To to do all the different. Um, yeah. So I mean, so that, really that's, on so that, that's one of the key things about Shadow is that we, we we're doing um, cloud gaming, and if you want, that's our uh, key entry point to the market. But really, what we're providing, because we know that gamers don't just game on their computers, we know they do a lot of other things. They they do. Uh, they do video editing, they do picture editing, they go on the internet, they go on Netflix, they do whatever they want. And so it was important for us to actually provide a computer that does everything. And so that's why we give a Windows 10 computers and not a catalog of game or anything. So you can install any, any app and also any game actually. It's like, so even the, the game that, that, uh, that came out like 10 years ago and that you, you absolutely want to play uh, because it does run on yeah. Windows 10, well, you can play it. That's why it's, a, it's a potentially going to remain a differentiator for Shadow, because potentially some of the big company competitors are going to want to have exclusive games or something like that, or they want to sell like a Netflix subscription, and mm -hmm. or you just get freedom. People exactly. can do whatever they want. That's they really can the subscribe point to something or they don't have to. That's really the point for us, is to, to, give the freedom to, uh, to, to give the freedom to our users of what they want to do with their computer. That's really awesome. Do you, uh, do you want to introduce some of the other guys around here? Uh, for sure, yeah. Let's go around here. So we have uh, Jackson here. Hello. Hey. Um, hey. With hey, one of the lead of our uh, customer success teams. Yeah, yeah. I'm Jackson. You may know you better as Shodan. Uh, I'm part of the help desk team, one of the three team leads here. Uh, pretty much we're the, the welcome mat, the vanguard, the kind of traffic directors for any sort of problems, questions, issues, lovely comments you may have. So there's like a, a community? Oh, yeah, the yeah, discus yeah. and all the other stuff. For sure, we have a full community on Discord. Uh, they've come to us from anywhere from our Chicago data center, New York, Texas, uh, here in California, and we also talk with them all the time. Even have a special phone room over here for any of our phone calls that you may uh, send our way. That's the Discord happening there. Yeah, actually. So uh, is is active just all day? Pretty much, yeah. And we have Discord all the for users. all of our all of our uh, countries essentially. And you have a. Uh, Thousands of users in there in the U.S. Discord? Or? Yeah, definitely. Plenty of users. We have a, a semi-weekly AMA that we do, a sort of town hall fashion in there, and we just get tons of people piling in, asking questions. It's quite a lovely community. Cool. Awesome. And uh, what's going on in here? Oh, so that's really Clay's room. Uh, Clay, you want to show your room? Yeah. Hey. So, <laughs> hey. I'm here. I'm back. Yeah. So what's happening in your room over there? So in here is where we'll create... Oop. Anything from our 2D content, so images for Twitter, Facebook, uh, soon Instagram, uh, as well as our live content. So we have our Shadow News Twitch stream, Shadow Games. Um, not really looking like this, but That's that okay. is our backdrop. A bunch of screens <laughs> here, uh, live streaming from yep. a high quality camera. You do the, the Shadow News USA, right? Yes, yeah. Uh, it's the Shadow North America on Twitch. And uh, then on top of that, we'll also film uh, our videos. So if you ever see a uh, over-the-shoulder gameplay capture, it could actually happen right here. Um, nice. Right now, uh, Simon is working with me, and we're signing a 
deals with influencers so we can start getting more content from their side. So I'm Cause there's lots of uh, there's lots of cool influence. I mean, there's lots of stuff happening. Twitch is huge. Well, Twitch, and Twitch live is YouTube, massive and right now. Live YouTube gaming, huge. Oh, definitely. And in the US now, has lots of players. Shadow brings down that uh, cost of entry for anybody who wants to start creating that content, be it live, be it YouTube. Instead of the massive rig and figuring out how to set it up. Open a shadow account. How awesome is it that uh, kids, let's say kids, I like saying kids. Sure. I'm uh, not a kid, but I'm, uh, let's say <laughs> the kids are able to just get access to huge gaming PC on the Oh, cloud. definitely. And um, it's just $1 per I'm, day. I'm old school PC master race, and now today my son and I game on laptops side by side, and the image quality is exactly the same as what I was doing last year with a $6,000 PC. That's that's mind blowing. It's just one dollar per game day. That's game changing. One dollar per day. Thirty yeah. something. Thirty is it? Yeah. Thirty five dollars per day, right? Uh, per, or per month. Month. Yeah. Per month. So that's uh, totally affordable. Right. And if you go with the annual plan, you get discounts. So you're you're cutting the cost per month, and you're getting the quality and, and system. Never have to upgrade. You got a, a system problem. The the teams you just met them are there online to take care of you. It's it's brain dead. It's easy. No? To me, we're making PC a console. Developers can design to our hardware. They now are delivering that game to how many tens of thousands, soon to be hundreds of thousands of people by designing to one PC configuration. So we're solving for game developers down to the the, the gamers. Yeah. The gamers are cool this is kind the of people, tomorrow. right? This is today and tomorrow. Is cloud gaming. Let's, let's walk over here. Yeah. Uh, what's going sure. on here? So this is the current uh, phone support. So you get an issue, you call in. There's our man. Actually, another one I'd like to... Oh, where did he go? Yeah. There's a bunch so of uh, had, uh, rooms here. Yeah, I think we just had a near miss with our esports guy. Yeah. Oh, he's walking around. That's James. Hey. Um, Anybody familiar with the esports scene has probably seen him in content with uh, some top teams around. So uh, when you talk about esports, oh yeah, uh, they are demanding gamers. Very and, demanding gamers. And what do they think about Shadow? So far, I've got amazing quotes. I'm not sure which ones I'm allowed to release or state at this time. But like in general, without saying exactly and stuff, uh, do they top do tier they compare players? with a local PC and do they think they can feel a difference or is that that's, that's the goal right? That, well, and that's exactly the quote I've been getting from them is top tier uh, esports athletes. I've worked with and put Shadow in front of them, and side by side they tell me they forget that they're not on a local PC. That's winning. That was good for me. I'm good. Totally forget. Yeah. And actually. Uh, there's this thing about the latency from the mouse to the data center. That's one thing, and it's very low already. It's very good. Oh, yeah. But the, maybe one of the more important things for, for eSports is the latency between one play and the other. And let's say they're all playing on the shadow. There's no latency. Right. Well, there's a in lot between. of different ways it can be solved at the tournaments. Um, a lot of that's in place and can be rolled out now, and that's what James is working to set up. So hoping that uh, we'll be able to show you guys a tournament soon, uh, completely run on Shadow. And also the, the other thing is that a Shadow data center has very good low latency to any other gamer, like better than you would be able to do from home. Oh, from definitely. A... You're not going to, I mean, you can, let's say, you know, some kind of game share solution that you know, a PC gamer may have figured out. Yeah. You're never going to get the quality anywhere close to what uh, you can with Shadow. And that's yes. where even it's, it's kind of funny with Facebook trolls. So they, they know the best. And it's like, oh, that's not possible because of latency. And try it. Try it. Yeah. They should try it. Or, or it, even better, tune in to one of our live streams. We have Shadow Games. Just get in and watch. Yeah. One of my community managers, Ajax, he streams all the time. He'll, he'll load up Counter-Strike, show you right there. Put the camera on his hand, you can see it to the game. And uh, I, I guess maybe the other thing they could do is uh, sign up. And if they're not happy, I guess you do you refund like, or something. Or maybe they just risk one month. Uh, if, well, they, if it doesn't we, work There's good. the paid trial. So you don't even have to sign up right now. You could actually just opt in on the paid trial. We create a blade for you, just or a VM. 
get your shadow going just Make sure if you're a regular. Good wherever you live. It's just like Try the regular product, but it's in that non-commitment and a little short time and separated cost. Otherwise, what they can do, they can ping test, right? There's some way to ping to check your ping. We do that. I would have to get with them because yeah. on the social side, I just send those links to the people direct when yeah. they hit me cool. up. Let's, let's introduce some of the other guys around here. Yeah. Let's see. Actually, this man right here, this is, this is one of our community favorites. He hates cameras. This is why okay. I love putting him on camera. And this is, this is the infamous Cave Johnson. Um, oh. he, he's become uh, iconic in everything from our Discord to uh, some of our streams. Uh, nice. Incredible value here, Shadow. Cool. <laughs> awesome. And... Uh, Ari, hey. hey, Ari is the old timer, the man. Yeah. I need to know something. This is who I go to. You, I'm gonna hand him over to you for a little <laughs> cool. bit. Thanks a lot. Yeah, exactly. So hi. So so who are you? Uh, I'm Ari. I've been in the company pretty much since the beginning. We were still 30 employees. I was in the French office back then, and uh, I moved here almost a year ago uh, in California to help starting um, starting the office here. Um, so, uh, how's been the experience here in California? Have you tried to live in the U.S. before? No, I've never lived in the U.S. I visited New York as a kid, and that's it. So, I moved here from scratch. We were still in an office of like three people, and it has been amazing so far. We grew a lot, actually. As you can see, there's way more people now, and uh, it has been a great experience. So, yeah. I'm European, right? Uh, 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 I'm a half Danish, half Swiss, and okay. I want to see the Europeans take over the world. I like that kind of thing. <laughs> so I like uh, this feeling too. Uh, uh, are you? Uh, is it kind of like the experience you're having, where you are coming into the U.S. and you're trying to take over and be big in the U.S.? So actually, yeah, it started like that. Like we are a real French company that started in Paris, so in the capital of France, and we wanted to expand shadow all over the world. So we wanted to like conquer one of the biggest place, which is the U.S., one of the biggest markets. It's crucial. You can't do this stuff without exactly. the U.S., right? I mean, especially in tech, we're in the art of Silicon Valley, so we had to be there. So they sent a few people here uh, just to try to see how it could work. And uh, it has been great so far. Now, we're in the U.S., so we also have to, uh, to play the game with these rules. And this has been also amazing. We're What's used the rules? What do you mean? I mean, when you are in the U.S., there's a lot of things you need to adapt to. Uh, even the people we're working for, it has been we're working with. It has, it has been great to also have all these people with experience from the U.S. market, from how to work here, to work together when we were just a French company that started with a lot of people that were junior like myself. Uh, it has been great to take the experience of the Silicon Valley to also kind of upscale our game. We were good at being like a, a small startup in France. And thanks to the US experience, we've been able also to like jump up and, uh, and become a bigger company. So uh, you mind maybe sitting there? Yeah. So this is um, uh, part of, your, uh, part of uh, the shadow baby, let's say, or yeah. let's say uh, <laughs> the, the secret sauce a little bit. Yeah. Um, because uh, you, don't just, you don't just run on a regular cloud stuff. You, you build yeah. your own cloud. Exactly. Right? So this is one of the first versions of what uh, a shadow server looked like. Uh, of course, it had changed a lot now in our data center. So it's a custom PCB kind of thing and everything, or uh, a custom configuration? Yeah, we, we tried to make it custom, so it changed a lot from that, and now it's even more specific. But now it's maybe top secret, the latest. It, it is kind maybe. of uh, our little sauce, yeah. yeah. But um, so what, yeah. what's special about this? So what is special is not exactly about how the, the server blade is done. It's mostly about the fact that we're doing the end-to-end -end solution. So most of this service, um, and in general, you don't do end-to-end, -end, so you don't master all the components of your service. You still rely on a lot of things. On our end, we wanted to provide as much as we can to our customers. So we're doing our own data centers. We basically just rent an empty room, and we build our 
all our servers and make sure that they're compatible with our technology because we want to optimize as much as we can. So we pick extremely precise components that have been tested and optimized to work with Shadow. Is this a bunch of GPUs there around? Yeah, exactly. These are the P5000, it's the one that are currently... Uh, Which currently is the equivalent of a GTX 1080? Exactly. And just boom, 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 boom. Yeah. For, like four or more? Yeah, four? Yeah, there is four of them in this room. And with two big Xeon, Intel yeah. Xeon? Exactly. And this is fully stacked of RAM, yeah. normally. And then, uh, I guess, hard drives and stuff? Somewhere else, maybe, or something? Yeah, it's somewhere else. So, actually, one of the big challenges that we had creating Shadow is the storage. Storage is something that is really hard to conceive to have high performance and still have a lot of space for our customers. So we had to develop new technologies to make sure that it was like as high level as we wanted for it. Because I've been using Shadow for a year, so I'm yeah. a lucky guy. I have one of these terabyte things. Where yeah. you can, I have 1.256 terabyte mm -hmm. um, uh, on my Shadow. Uh, I heard, I, I watched the Shadow News in French, uh, the French yeah. uh, Shadow News, which is so cool every week. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the talk is that something's happening eventually, maybe you can't really say, but... Uh, uh, Potentially, I mean, people have certain storage for their yep. apps and games and stuff yep. like that. And uh, 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 well, let, let's not get into what will happen. <laughs> but uh, uh, so, so people basically have their shadow. They, they log in whenever they want. Yep. They can use it twenty four hours a day if they want. But usually, people sleep. Yeah, sometimes. And that's kind of, maybe that's your business model is sleep, right? Because you is is you get a dedicated GPU. You don't share it. Yeah. But. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Um, I it is more to share a little bit. I mean, uh, you log in only when you log in. Exactly. So on the meantime, other people can use um, the GPU when you are not logged in. But what we really wanted to do is that to make sure that once you're connected, you have your own GPU. That's part of our end-to-end -end solution. Um, when you're connected, you have access to your storage, you have access to your RAM and to your GPU and CPU. And the, perf the, the user, the other users that are next to you in the data center, they don't have an impact on your performance. That's what we wanted. Let's go close to the, yeah. the kind of like the dream office here. So this is the Shadow of the Ghost. Yeah. Uh, can you explain a little bit what happens in Paris? So what are all the engineers you have over there? Um, every day they're doing lots of work and uh, yeah. trying to re like to keep innovating all the time? Exactly. So in Paris, all our engineers are there. Um, we also built um, all the software technology that is used for Shadow. Uh, the streamer has been a big part of it. Of course, we're streaming a video, so we wanted to optimize that. So we have been a, we have had a team that uh, that really uh, that, that created that from scratch. Um, what happens if you hit the S exit? So here you have a full yeah. Windows computer, exactly, and it's basically a Windows computer. Yeah, it's Windows 10 computer, so you can install every every software you want. So I, I guess you have uh, experts in kind of like virtualization kind of stuff? Exactly. Virtualization has been a really big part of Shadow. Uh, actually, our lead engineer is the guy right there. Does he want to be in the video? Uh, I don't know, he's a bit shy. He's a, okay. he's a developer, so yeah. they have to keep quiet. Okay. But this guy has been a big part in, uh, in creating our, um, the, the virtualization of Shadow because Shadow is all about optimization. Um, it's easy to create a virtual computer. Having a virtual computer that have the, the grade of an eSports PC, but that can also have low latency and all of that is really hard. So it required a lot of optimization on the virtualization side, on the streaming side, and also on infrastructure, as I was saying before, because you need to make sure that the um, connections of people are not gonna limit the usage of Shadow. This is why now, with optimization, we've been able to um, require only 15 megabits per second. Um, and uh, there's, there's probably a lot of other things happening in Paris, right? Yeah. Um, uh, what, what else can you say about what's happening over there? Because, um, uh, for example, at one point, the CEO, he went into some kind of a cabin, mm -hmm. right? It was called yeah. a cabin. It was called the the Chaban, which in French literally means like the it's a contraction of shadow and cabin. Uh, and they, for example, they, 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 I guess you have some of the best Linux and Windows and all kinds yeah. of hackers that optimize the way you get to minimum latency, which is a really the the big the big deal here. You you, you don't want to see any delay when you click. Yeah. Things are just moving. 
and the, the different clients and all the different yeah. platforms. And soon you'll have a couple things that are officially announced that you will have multiple screen. Yeah. So you will be able to have one shadow, uh, one ghost with one screen yeah. and another for another one. That's kind of like what's announced, right? So it, it has been announced that we're working on, uh, on extra screen. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, you can't say, I mean, you can't say, uh, it's the timing, uh, I'm a little bit early, but, but I think what was being announced is that you can run, for example, one on a ghost, yeah. and the other one on another computer, exactly. and then uh, just go from one screen to the other, like you have a dual screen, or maybe yeah. triple on screen. This is something that has been announced, and that is going to be released soon is uh, testing. Uh, you're going to be able to connect to your Shadow Ghost uh, or another device as a primary one and on another device being able to use the Shadow app as a second, second screen. So if you put two devices next to each other, you'll be basically able to use it as a dual screen monitor for your Shadow. And another thing, I, I'm testing a little bit uh, from my fast internet, you can connect USB host, so you can connect any hard drive, anything you want. Uh, even devices and the uh, keyboard mouse and everything and just works. Yeah, so there is four USBs on uh, on the Shadow Ghost and they're slightly different. There's two USB 2.0 that are optimized for mouse and keyboard because this is the Shadow Ghost that is going to uh, analyze the inputs and only send the inputs. So it's going to be way faster and you're going to um, you're going to gain some um, some later. That's the opposite. Actually, you're going to you're going to yeah, it's gonna be so fast, some are optimized for keyboard and mouse exactly. and some are optimized for like uh, mass storage, some kind of stuff, right? So or the other ones are going to forward the entire USB. So you'll be able to use peripherals that requires drivers. Um, if I plug my Logitech mouse in the USB 3 ports, uh, it'll be detected in my Windows as this mouse, the G903. But it's, it's better to plug the keyboard mouse in the USB 2 ports. They and won't the be recognized by... Yeah. yeah, so usually you plug your mouse and keyboards on the 2.0 ports, so they're optimized for, uh, for latency, for low latency, and you can use the other ones that still have low latency, yeah. but just a bit more, for peripherals that, need, that requires nice. the drivers. Uh, let's just here for a second. Uh, I saw here, this is um, uh, some old stuff, right? Um, this was the first generation, uh, what do you call it? So uh, this one was our prototype, uh, for Shadow Box. Um, can you open yeah, this? Sure, yeah. we can open it. Right. So this is the prototype. This is actually one of the first prototypes when we wanted Shadow to run on that. It was this is Ghost? No, oh. that was even way before the first Shadow Box. We wanted to run Shadow on that. It was working, but we couldn't have the performance we want. I'm pretty sure this is an ARM CPU. I mean, it's maybe we don't have to pull it off, but uh, so the Ghost is definitely an ARM CPU, and then you had a version here that was using an x86. Uh, uh, it was an AMD, I think, right? That's this one, yeah. Yeah, so it's an AMD, some kind of AMD. Uh, that was for the you call it the box. Yeah, the box. So, so this was a this year prototype ago? was is exactly the same board as the early bird box that was for first 500 users in France, and then we had the shadow box. That was also released in the US and Europe. But the cool thing is that all this awesome stuff is just optional. You yeah. can run it on anything. Totally. So this is just a thin client in case you don't have already a computer that can run Shadow or if you want something that is fanless, really small, that you can transport easily. Uh, otherwise, for example, here we have the Windows app. So if I do Control Windows F, I get it out of the full screen and I can see that I'm just on a regular regular laptop and uh, if I do let's say like this yeah uh, this is the the little client uh, software you have running on on, on Windows yeah. and then you can have some settings you can check some show some different things and once you've chosen what you want for example you can prefer speed over reliability or enable the USB microphone or automatic resolution other stuff you can just start and it just launches in uh, to your data center oh. and uh, you need to log in. Yeah, that's, <laughs> not, that's fine. And then... And this one is actually the same laptop running the same game except it's not using Shadow. So here when I press start, I'm logged in to my Shadow and I'm at the same point of the game. This is running on the local computer. These are the exact same computers. So this is running on the computer. You can yeah. barely move. And here you have... 
Um, this is like a two thousand dollar computer, right? This is what you kind of say. It's actually, a fifteen hundred to two thousand dollar performance. Yeah, but uh, th this computer is actually pretty expensive. We pay them uh, five or six hundred because they're they still have an i five in it. They just yeah. have no don't they don't have a graphics card. Um, but when you play the shadow PC configuration, is kind of worth two thousand dollars. Yeah. Of. Yeah, exactly. With the components we've put in it, we have a, a Xeon processor, we have the P5000 in it. So yeah, this is kind of expensive right. if you can have high-performance high gaming experience. For example, here the Tomb Raider is, uh, is uh, running on very high settings, and there's nice. actually no real problem. So um, what would be awesome to hear is that uh, you are in the next uh, not very many months, mm -hmm. you're just going to be world famous as the, one of the big success stories yeah. from Europe that just come over. To yeah. cover the cloud, exactly. So, right now our goal is really to expand um, a bit everywhere. We've been a lot of people asking Shadow around the world. So we started with the United States because it's it's a requirement in tech, and uh, soon we'll be nationwide in the United States. Right now, there is still some states that aren't covered by Shadow, but soon. In like in the middle. Be, exactly. In exactly. Middle right now, there's Colorado that is not uh, that is not covered by Shadow. There's also Florida. Florida is missing, uh, but uh, Texas is happy. Yeah, Texas, Texas have a data center in Dallas now. And Arizona, Denver, these kind of things are not too far, hopefully. Uh, or maybe they're also waiting. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, California is pretty happy. California is happy. Chicago is happy. Canada is uh, more or less waiting. Uh, so yeah, they're yeah. waiting, but And soon. Scandinavia, I'm connecting. I'm in Copenhagen, and I'm connecting to Paris. But it'd be yeah. nice if there was a Scandinavia data center. I could maybe say five or ten milliseconds, potentially. There's a, there's a data center in Amsterdam that's the closest yeah. one, yeah. And then uh, there's, uh, I think, a bunch of people in Asia that'd be happy if they could use oh. this. Yeah, there's love a lot it, of right? people asking uh, about Shadow in Asia. I think they want to play in Hong Kong, they want to play in Taiwan, they want to play in Taiwan. They would love to play in Taiwan. Yeah. And they'd love to play in Korea and it's, Japan. It's a real big challenge to open a new office. It has been a real challenge to open the, the US office, for example. And uh, of course, we're looking forward to, to, to expand, but we're planning things more slowly, we want to... But you're getting the hang of it, right? You know, you're getting used to it, and soon you'll be able yeah. to cover everything. I guess every time we, we do things like that, we, we always kind of start from scratch, but we're learning a lot. And with this experience, hopefully, it'll be easier and easier to also deploy and kind of conquer the world. South America. They'd that would be amazing. Play. Oh, yeah. We always, I'm sure we have, there's a bunch of Brazilians watching this YouTube We have so video. many people in Brazil asking for Shadow, and uh, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll one day have a good announcement. Yeah.